Okay, so uh, we are three weeks out from Kona. Uh, training is going great on the bike and run. Um, I'm back in the water as well. Uh, still not able to put full pressure through my arm, but moving, uh, I can get through range of motion and slowly getting a little bit more pressure through that hand every day, but um, still only two weeks post break. So um, yeah, I'm hopeful that I'll be able to full, uh, swim full strength um, in the next few days before we head to Kona, which is on Friday. Had a pretty big training day today, Saturday, uh, three weeks out. I like to do a pretty hard session. Um, big bike with uh, lots of efforts and then a solid Ironman pace runoff. Uh, that sort of is the end of my biggest training. Um, I'll have to push through for a few more days here before we head to Kona on Friday. Uh, we get in Friday afternoon and then I'll have my last big weekend of training. I'll ride sort of five hours on the course on Saturday and I'll ride, uh, run probably a couple of hours on the run course on Sunday and then um, a couple of light days and then yeah the work's done um, pretty much by the time you get to Kona all the work's done so um, yeah pretty much now it's just about resting up um, last couple of little key sessions but nothing super hard no more big taxing sessions uh, yeah uh, time here in Kansas this year has been short um, short and sweet only two and a half weeks but we've really enjoyed it and um, yeah really Love coming out here, low stress, um, training's easy. We're a five minute walk from the Jayhawk Club, so it's all good. So um, last year we got introduced to the Jayhawk Club, which is a really nice um, training facility uh, with a bunch of all the techno gym gear that we're used to using, the same treadmills we run on in, in Boulder, exactly the same treadmill that I have in my house. Um, so it's really nice to be able to run on that. Um, oftentimes when you go away, uh, you're running on random treadmills that are generally not super great, um, but this is a super nice treadmill and, and it's great to do some of those last key sessions on that treadmill. And then, um, you know, nice you know, four lane, 25 yard pool, uh, really good for recovery sessions. And, you know, as I mentioned, it's only, you know, six or seven minute walk from our house. So it's been really nice to have that facility really close um, to where we're staying this year in, in um, Lawrence. Uh, but heading off to Kona, um, and yeah, I'll be swimming at the, the, the pool by the Manalani, and then knowing that the Kona pool is closed, which sucks, um, one of my sponsors, Master Spa, are going to have their, one of their pools up and running at the expo all week. Um, so that's one option for me. Um, I might go and do a session uh, in the Master Spa um, down at the expo. If you are in the market for a pool or just want to go for a swim, go check it out. I swam in one for the first time last week when I went and visited their headquarters in Fort Wayne and it is, it's nice. It's a sweet, it's a sweet setup. So um, yeah, really cool to have them on board and looking forward to having our own Master Spa at our house. But in the meantime, I might jump in um, the Master Spa at the expo and, and crank out a session. Um, but the sad thing is we leave Tim. Uh, we head out a week before Tim. He likes to head into Kona Friday basically of race week and well so eight days out from the race and I like to hit in uh, 15 days before the race so myself and Izzy will leave him um, which will actually be probably good for him although I'm sure he'll miss us um, it'll be good for him to have some time to himself um, to focus on the race uh, to have a little bit better sleep at night Izzy does like to wake us up in the in the evenings um, and yeah, focus on his race a little more. And, and same for me, um, you know, obviously I'll still have Izzy around, which is a welcome distraction, but um, it'll give me a little bit of time to really focus on the race and um, sort of get in um, race mode, I guess you'd say. Awesome. And today I'm doing um, 4400s. I actually don't know if I've ever done this. I usually do 800s or milers, but 4400s today, so um, yeah. I'm gonna get to work.
Uh, big thanks to everyone for all the really kind messages this past week. Um, yeah, it's been a rough couple of weeks um, with the broken arm, but I uh, really appreciate the support. Um, it definitely is very uplifting. And yeah, next time I check in with you, I'll be on the Big Lion Island in Kona. So um, also follow uh, my Instagram account. We'll be having, um, as usual, giveaways race week um, in Kona as well. So um, yeah, look forward to checking in again once we're over on the Big Island. <laughs>